Hi everyone, in a different spot today. I thought I'd, um, sorry, I'm just gonna get some moisturizer on my face before I start to dry out like a prune. I thought I would do a type of vloggy video today because I've got some things I'd like to show you. A special parcel that's come from the US. Um, I think they're my twilight covers, which I ordered. Um, so we'll go through those. And then I've also got another book to share with you guys. So yeah, it's just a, gonna be a really short and sweet video. Um, sorry, I apologize if I look like a bit of a egghead. I, um, I'm just drying my hair, I've just washed my hair. I had a bit of a, mm, I felt a bit rubbish yesterday and just one of those days where I just couldn't really get out of bed. So I've, this is like the post crash shower and oh it's been magnificent it's just so nice when you come out of a crash and you know you've just kind of been in your bed sheets just kind of just you know you just feel really like ugh, gross it's just nice to have that post uh flare up shower it just oh it just hits and i even washed my hair as well because my hair was due a wash so it's just been nice to just do that uh, now that i'm all dressed i just have yeah a few things to show you i've got a book to share with you i've got some book mail which just came earlier today. I was kindly contacted from Headline Publishing and they asked if I wanted to share this book with you guys. So I was like, yeah, this book sounds amazing. So, so this is it, Valley Verified by Kyla Zhao. Um, I've never heard of this author before, but yeah, so this is this has just come out. I think it's come out today. And um, yeah, when I read the um, blurb, I was just, I was just like, yeah, literally sounds a bit of me. It's a workplace uh, book. Um, I love anything to do with like young millennials finding their feet in the workplace. In terms of like shows, like I love, I love um, the bold type. That's like, oh, I love that show. Emily in Paris, I really like that. So I, I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of getting these vibes. Oh, um, and Devil Wears Prada, things like that. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the cover. So yeah, anyway, I'll just let you know what this is about. On paper, Zoe Zhang has made it in New York's fashion world, but life in the city isn't quite what Zoe imagined. Her editor at Chic Magazine wants to censor her opinions to please the big brands. She shares her quaint, in brackets, read small, apartment with three roommates who never let her store kimchi in the fridge. And how is she supposed to afford all the designer, all the designer clothes on her meagre salary? When Zoe is offered a job at FitPick, a startup based in Silicon Valley, the salary and office perks are great, but moving across the country and leaving her best friends behind, not so much. Taking a leap of faith, Zoe trades high fashion for high tech, but she soon realises that in an industry claim to change the world for the better, not everyone's intentions are pure. With an eight-figure investment on the line, Zoe must find a way to revamp the app's image despite Silicon Valley's elitism and her icy colleagues. If not, the company's future will go up in smoke and hers with it. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. It sounds like a, yeah, like I said, like a workplace fluffy book. Um, obviously some ish probably goes down. But yeah, I just thought this would be a really nice, um, probably like a palette cleanser. So yeah, thank you so much Headline for um, sending me this book. And um, yeah, if you wanna pick it up, I'll have the link in the in the description box. But yeah, I don't know, it sounds, sounds really cool. I think, uh, Oh yeah, I'll be ready to give it a go. Like I said, I do like workplace workplace uh, dramas and um, I love that it's set in New York as well and she moves to Silicon Valley, so I think that'll be quite interesting. Okay, so, right, I'm gonna show you the next parcel that's coming. I'm just gonna put this, put this away. I'll put it there for now. Right, so, as I said in my previous video, I wanted to order some new covers um, for my Twilight books, because they're secondhand. So um, I found some online. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're quite hard to get out. <laughs> I haven't seen these yet. So moment of truth. Oh, look. It goes like that. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Look at these. These are from KD Video. I'm going to leave the link below if you want them. Actually, you know, I'm going to do this off camera. I just let me go. So yeah, that's how it's going to look like. So sick. Oh, so sick. All right, this is Midnight Sun. Sorry, they're not going to be in any, any particular order. 
New Moon. I'll show you on the books when they come for now. Put them on. Eclipse. And Breaking Dawn. Yeah, all right, okay, 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 okay. Right, let's get them on, let's get them on, let's get them on the books. The only thing is, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous that, um, I'm a little nervous that they might not fit the books as I think they're for the American size and the American and US size books are a little bit different um, in the Twilight books. I think the US ones are slightly shorter, um, but yeah, <laughs> I kind of, um, I bought them anyway, knowing that. They do stay on their website that, um, the size, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how I get on. So these are from Katie Video where they, um, they specialize in like, sort of like, they do like VHS art, um, and like, kind of like, yeah, like retro sort of style. But, uh, I mean, this, this one isn't bad. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep these, I'll probably put them somewhere, but, I mean, yeah, this cover wasn't bad, but um, <laughs> I got really confused then. Yes, so yeah, I'm worried if um, they're not going to fit, but they might. I think because some of my Twilight books, some of them are, um, some of them are, are from the US, and some of them are the, are the UK size. So we will see. She loved these. Like, I'm so so happy I got them, and the shipping didn't take long at all. The shipping took, oh God, like about 10 days, which is pretty good. Right, okay, moment, moment, moment of truth. This is, oh God, is this the right one? Oh God, this isn't the right one. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm, um, here's Breaking Dawn. I'm so, um, scatterbrained. Right, moment of truth. Moment of truth, guys. I mean, it's a little loose, but it's okay. Oh my God. I love this so much. Look at the back. I can't, I, I can't. I literally can't. Anyway, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. This is just, this is too much. This is actually too much. Okay, let's pop that down and then I'll show you at the end. Right, next one, let's do Twilight's one. I actually had to pay 13 pounds for this, even though, look, and look, look at the price of it. One flipping 49, and I, ha I paid 13 pounds a world of books because it was so hard to find any uh, Twilight, um, the Twilight hardcovers. Uh, yeah, the, the hardcover of Twilight. I think you can only really get paperbacks now. Um, and obviously I bought the, is it the life and death? Yeah, I bought that. Ah, oh, see, yeah, here we go. This is gonna be a problem here. This one is a little too, it doesn't quite fit. Oh, we were doing so well. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting the sense that this is really boring and painful watching, so uh, painful watching this. So I'm gonna put them on and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. I have a feeling many swear words might be said. So, BRB. Here they are in all of their glory. Didn't take me long, took me like five minutes, but I just thought I'd skip it, but I'm so, so happy. I got, I'm so glad I bought these. Anyway, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to eat. Oh, right, I'm obsessed with these. Um, they were worth every pound, every penny, just to, to get the feel that I'm feeling. So, okay, so this is Twilight. Oh my God, I'm in love with these. Just the colors of them. So yeah, that's the spine. I'll show you inside. It's, they're still gonna look a little, because they need to like um, settle in. But yeah, that's like the inner bit. That's the inner bit as well. And it's the back. Oh, yeah. Like I said, they're going to move around a little because they're a little, they were obviously rolled up. So hopefully they'll settle in once, um, once they're on the shelves and that, once they're settling their creases. But yeah, 
I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So cool. I can't wait to reread Twilight this year now because of these covers. I don't know how sad, sad that sounds, but I don't care. I don't, I, I don't care. Next one, obviously, New Moon. This one. <sighs> Just absolutely epic. Again, like the inner covers aren't, they're just, again, I don't know if you can see that. And then the back, <sighs> just so cool. I just love these so much. The clips, the spine, and there's the back. So, so talented, honestly. Yeah, so, so talented. Breaking Dawn, what I showed you anyway, uh, earlier, beautiful. I'm like geeking out right now. Oh, so good, so good. This is fine, this is a chunky one, man. This is gonna take me ages to read this. And then the only, only one, which is just like, I think I must've got the UK edition of this book, because this is just a little bit taller, but and I was like, oh, should I cut it down? But I was like, oh, it might get a little close to uh, Bella's eyes, which isn't great. But um, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. But that cover is just beautiful. There we go. And there's the back. And that's it. Yeah, so that that's the uh, much anticipated Twilight covers, which I waited, um, well, I didn't wait for so long for, but I, um, Purchased them out of my own hard-earned money and um, bought them. I'm so pleased that I got them. Like, so, so pleased. I'm just going to stack them back up again. Um, yeah, I'm so happy I got them. I, I remember I was contemplating for ages. Like, oh, they are quite expensive. But, um, yeah, just look at them. I think they're so cool. I really, really love them. And, yeah, like I said, these ones are just... I don't know if I'm going to keep them... Like, I don't know if it's wasteful to me to throw them away, but um, I don't have to keep them off. Some of them, like, yeah, look, look that Eclipse, that Eclipse cover, it's a little, you know, a bit, a bit rough. That New Moon one was bad. But yeah, I'm so happy I bought those. So, so, so happy. Right, so yeah, that was my short little... That was my short little vlog today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the covers just as much as I do. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't know how to wrap it up. I hope you guys are well. And yeah, I hope you're keeping well. Hope January is going well for you. Oh God, I'm struggling in January, this weather. God, I mean, it's sunny today, but oh, it's just so bleak and cold, isn't it? I just really want to get like, <laughs> I'm just ready for spring and I just want a bit of warmth. But then you know what? I'm a typical Brit. I'll be moaning that... Um, how hot I am when it gets to like the summer but anyway I digress um yeah I'm gonna head off now and um yeah I'll speak to you guys in the next video